cataractcoach.com. Resist the urge to vacuum up blended material or air bubbles that are on the corneal endothelium. This is an important point. If you do a case like this and you see lens material pushed up against the cornea, you want to leave it be. So let me show you this case here. We'll do the hydrate section. It looks pretty good. Good rexus. We're losing a little viscoelastic. But we have a nice central coating of viscoelastic against the corneal endothelium. This dispersed viscoelastic will put a little more in right there. That's protecting the corneal endothelial cells. So when we do our phaco chop like we're going to do now, we know the corneal endothelial cells are safe. So we'll chop the nucleus, and as we do this, a little fragment of the epinuclear shell is going to be stuck against the corneal endothelium. And we've got an infusion of bubbles here as well. Ignore them. You have to learn to look through them. Don't evacuate or vacuum out the bubble or the piece of lenitro that's right up against the endothelium. Because in doing so, you'll take away our dispersive viscoelastic that's protecting the cornea. And that's going to be bad. It means you'll damage corneal endothelial cells. So again, you still see those same air bubbles. We remove the lens material with the eye probe. But we have another method. We can actually inject our cohesive viscoelastic now when we fill the capsule bag. And we'll push those bubbles away from the central corneal endothelium. And they get out of the visual axis. Now we'll put the lens in the eye, complete the case, and at the end of the case, in our viscoelastic removal mode on our machine, that's not only high vacuum, it's high flow. So that flow of fluid or bowel salt solution within the eye, that's going to wash away the viscoelastic that's stuck on the cornea. So again, don't chase after these air bubbles here. Don't even chase after a little piece of lens material. It'll come out. But we want to have that dispersive viscoelastic protecting the cornea during the phaco part. For the IA and, and removal of viscoelastic, of course, we're going to take it all out. But for uh, ultrasound energy, that dispersive viscoelastic is what protects the cornea and gives us the clear vision the next day. So next time you're doing a case like this and you see an air bubble like here that's against the corneal endothelium because it's stuck in the dispersive viscoelastic, leave it alone. Don't worry about it. Be more tolerant. If you do vacuum it away, go ahead and go back in the eye and put more viscoelastic. Remember, when we do our cataract surgery, first do no harm. Don't damage these delicate tissues. Don't damage the endothelium of the cornea. Be very gentle and learn to be a little tolerant. You can look through these bubbles. At the end of the case, like now, wash everything out. It looks great.